Hi everyone, welcome back to Nurse Catherine here. Welcome back to another educational style video. In today's video, we are going to be going through cardiac output calculations. And these are especially important for those of you who are nursing students or studying to take your NCLEX exam as this will show up on your nursing school test or your NCLEX exam. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button right below this video and make sure you are staying tuned for new videos that are actually coming out Monday through Friday. Before I get into screen sharing and sharing my computer screen with you all so you can see the actual cardiac output calculation, let's go over what is in the cardiac output calculation. First you have your stroke volume, which is the difference between the end diastolic volume and the end systolic volume. You also could say it is the volume ejected with each heartbeat. So that is the first part of your cardiac output calculation is stroke volume. Then you have your heart rate. That is the second piece of your cardiac output calculation. Now the heart rate you are going to determine by taking an apical pulse, radial pulse, or even by looking at your vital signs machine, whatever is appropriate at that time for your specific patient. I personally always like doing apical pulses. If you are unsure how to count an accurate heart rate, make sure to hit this video up here in this little link, and that will bring you to another video that will show you how to accurately take a heart rate. So let me share my screen now, and we will do this calculation together. Okay, so here we have our cardiac output calculation. Our formula you will see right here, that is cardiac output equals stroke volume times the heart rate. The stroke volume is measured in milliliters. So our answer is going to be in milliliters per minute because our heart rate is a one minute heart rate. I guess I could put beats per minute after each heart rate to help you understand that a little bit better. So for number one, we are going to take 50 times 99, and that is going to give us our answer of 4,950 milliliters per minute. It is as simple as that to determine the cardiac output for your calculation. Now let's go down to number two here. You have, again, 75 milliliters as your stroke volume, multiplying by 150 beats per minute, which is your heart rate, and that will give you 11,250 milliliters per minute. So there you have it guys, that is your cardiac output calculation. This is fairly simple to determine when you have the stroke volume and the heart rate. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching today's educational video. Make sure you are subscribed. Hit that subscribe button below right now. Hit it, like right now. So you are notified of new videos that are currently coming out Monday through Friday. But other than that, that is it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you in tomorrow's video. And don't forget to check my Instagram where I am doing a live NCLEX review tonight. That is every Monday on my Instagram at 4.30, I am doing live NCLEX review sessions. For free, yeah, for free. So go check that out too. All right, have a great night, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.